Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, there are two very good reasons to be a Patreon today. One is the solution video that we published yesterday to Demono's Everything Rogan is on Fire. Um, very popular puzzle, caused a lot of interest and um, lots of people waiting for that video to find out how they were meant to solve it. Uh, and it's a, it's a very good video, I do recommend it. But also today, Simon's attempt at Fistamafel's Sisyphus puzzle. Now this is a puzzle with a, a new rule set that appeared on Logic Masters Germany and um, if you know your Greek myth you'll know that Sisyphus was eternally condemned to push a boulder up a hill and have it roll back down again. So um, let's hope that Simon gets to fulfill that role in the video, which I haven't actually seen yet myself but I will be watching it later today. Um, and I suspect that we can we can book in for a nice long solve there. So if you really want your extra um, CTC goodies, that's where to be today. Now, um, this puzzle though is by Timothy Beckson, who's sent it to us. It's it uses a cylindrical grid. Now we've had a torus occasionally, but this is just a cylinder, which means that. Um, it's continuous from the right edge to the left edge, which matters in respect of certain cells that are joined by lines. Now, in each row, the cells joined by lines add up to the same total, and that total increases row by row as we go down the grid. And furthermore, the total is shown in each row in the blue cells. So that's quite a lot of information and no, obviously no given digits. We don't expect those anymore. Uh, but plenty of cells are colored in some way. And um, now there is one wrinkle about these two digit numbers uh, that show the row, show the totals of the joined cells in the row. And that is that if it's a repeated number like 22 or 33, Obviously, you can't write both numbers in a Sudoku row, so only one of them will be numbered. So if this row was 33 for the totals, which it's not, then there'd be a single three in that cell. So those are the rules. I'm sorry I can't make them larger. That's just how the software is written at the moment. Um, so you have to listen and then play it on your phone if that's what you're doing and you can't read small text. Sorry about that. There will probably be an improvement to that at some point in the future. Now, thanks very much to Timothy for sending this in. Let's have a go at the puzzle. Do give it a try on the link below the video. I'm going to try now. Let's get cracking. And it would... Ah, here, yes, I was going to say it would help to find a row in which all the cells were joined by lines. And we've got one. Row um, six has three lines and every cell is involved. Now, there is a secret which I will share with you because I like you. That is that every row, column and three by three box in a normal Sudoku, which contains the numbers one to nine, adds up to 45 every time. So with three sets of cells adding up to 45 and them all being equally totaled, they must all add up to 15. So we can fill in one five in the blue cells. The other three cells on this line will be two, three, and four, because one, two, three, four, five adds up to 15, another triangular number. Then these other cells in the row will be six, nine, and seven, eight in some pairing. Ah, and look, look at these. We have three other rows above that. So um, since the rows increase in terms of the total as we go down the grid, so they decrease as we go up it. And each of these has to have a different second digit from the first digit. So I think they have to be 14, 13, and 12, which is the lowest number we could use in this way. This, well, it could be 11, or 9, or 8, or 7, or 6. So we don't know about that yet. But if it was 11, it will just be the digit 1. That's how the rule works. So, right, so we know that these three sets of digits, each total 14, so that's 42, and the other digit in the row is a 3, to get to our mystic 45 total. Here we've got three sets adding up to 13, and another digit which must be a 6. That fixes where 6 goes in the row below. It goes with a 9 to make the 15 total for that row. 7-8 pair there, 2-5 pair here, 
Now, 13 is the total for row 4, so that's not going to be a 2. That's 5 joined to an 8. This is a 2, 14 total here, and we've got 1, 4, 2. So that's going to be a 7. Uh, this pair has to be 9, 4 to make 13, which leaves us with 7, 2. And indeed, 7, 2, 1, 3 adds to 13. Uh, the 6 in this row goes there, with an 8 to make 14, 5, 9 pair. We can fill in the 2 in row 6, and we've made a huge start on row on boxes 4, 5, and 6. Now, row 4, 12 is the total, and each of those three groups adds to 12. Now, I can determine that this cell is a 6, either by using my 45 sum minus 3 times 12 minus 1 minus 2, the complicated way, or the simple way by asking where does 6 go in the row. It can't go on one of the lines because it would have to join to another 6. Um, ah, now, I did say this could be 11, 9, 8, 7, or 6, or one of those has been ruled out, but it can't be 6, 7, or 8 for the simple reason now that this trio can't contain a 1. So this is either going to have to be 9 or 11. If it's 9, this is 2, 3, 4. If it's 1, uh, sorry, if it's a 1, meaning an 11, it's 2, 4, 5, or 2, 3, 6. So it's definitely got a 2 in it. This, though, is a single digit. Oh, 9, 6, or 5. We've got an 8, 7 in the row. Don't know. Let's look down the grid. Right, we've got two four-digit sums and an extra cell. Bigger than 15. If it was 16, this lonely digit would have to be 13. That's not possible. So it's not 16 or 17. It could be uh, 18 or 19, with this digit being 9 or 7. Ah, oh, it can't be 21 because we've got the 1 there, and it can't be 22. So actually, those are the only possibilities. This is a definite 1. Now, this could be 19. Again, there's one loose cell over that could be 7, if that was 19. But otherwise, it's 20-something. Can't be 22. It could be 21, and that could be a 3. And that's it. I think those are the only possibilities. It has to be bigger than this. So it's either 21 or 19 for this row. This one, with its repeated digit, well, it's got to be 22. I could have actually filled that in right at the start, because there's no way this can be 33, or this cell would have to be minus 21. I don't think that's going to happen. So 22, there must be a 9 in this group of cells. Ah, it fixes the 2 up here. Hmm, what do we do next? If this is 21, these three have to add up to 18. So do... Oh, no, these three have to add up to 21. There's multiple ways of doing that. If this is 18, these two have to add up to 9. If it's 19... Oh, they still have to add up to 9. That's quite peculiar. Oh, yes, that's the units digit. Okay. So these two add up to 9, and they're not 1, 8, or 2, 7. So they're either 3, 6, or 4, 5. 2 is somewhere along here. Doesn't really help. Okay, let's have a look at some regular Sudoku. No, let's have a look at box 1. Oh, that's quite interesting. These two add up to 12 by the rule of the row. Uh, these add up to 9 or 11. So 12 plus 9 would be 21. With a 1 there, we would have a 986 triple here, making 23 to get our 45 total. Now, that's possible, but only in... Well, this can't be a 6, actually. So it's only possible if that was a 9 and this was 8, 1. And that's if this added up to 
9. But this might add up to 11, 23, 24. Then this group adds up to 21. Well, this can never be a 5 or even a 6 because that would have to be smaller. The most these could be, if that was a 6, this could be a 5. You'd still need a 10 here. That can't happen. This is a 9. And did I... No, I didn't... I only worked out for one possibility here what that meant here. This can't be a 2-7 pair or a 6-3 pair because 2 and 6 see both of those cells. So it's either 8-1 written like that or a 4-5 pair. Um, and this is... If it's a 4-5 pair, that has to be 2-3-6. That would have to... Oh, maybe we know what this is now. This is a pair that adds up to 12. Oh, no, 9-8-7 there, 3-4 or 5 here. This is still either adding up to 9 or 11. No, it's not. Look, we got a 9 up here, so this can't be a 9 row anymore. That is now an 11 row. Right, so 11 plus 12 is 23, plus the 10 in the blue cells, 33. These two add up to 12. Oh, and that's 4, 8, or 7. That didn't resolve anything. But this adds up to 11 now, so it's, again, either... 3, 6, or 4, 5. I'm getting confused now. What? 7 seems to have been restricted to column 2. Is there some other digit that's been held down? Not really. What about this pair adding up to 9? Can't be 1, 8. And that's the only restriction. Oh. Okay, think again. Right, this pair can't be a 3-9 pair because there's a 3 and 9 in column 7 already. And that didn't get... Ah, that 1 is looking at this cell. So this is a 21 row with a 3 loose in the middle. That doesn't fix whether this is 18 or 19. But these 3 have to add up to 21 now. Oh, and this is 22. I never wrote in the middle digit. It must be a 1, mustn't it? Ah, and that's incredibly helpful. Yeah, that's a 1 because this line adds up to 22. So does this. 45 minus 44 gives us a 1. That place is a 1 there. Now we know that's an 8. Now we know this is not 8, 4. Now we know 6 has to be in this pair. So that's a 3, 6 pair. That fixes the rest of the box. This can't be 4, 5, or 8, 1. It's either 2, 7, or 3, 6. Five. Ah, oh, this isn't 5, 7 anymore. That's a 4, 8 pair. This is a 3, 9 pair. Uh, they didn't resolve anything. All the 1s are done. 2s um, are not. Yes, by Sudoku. That is a 2, so that fixes that. Pair. Um, six in the top row must now be here. That's got to be a five because of the three nine pair in the box. We get a three, four, eight, and seven still to go in box three. But now it's a choice of figuring out when to do regular Sudoku. That's become a three because of the six down here. Now this is not a three six. Oh, no, that's not necessarily true. That's not... A, sorry. That one's not a 6, and this one's therefore not a 3. Well, also, because of that. Um, it's also not a 5. In fact, this is a naked single 4. There we go. 3 there. 6 there. Doesn't tell me the total of this, oddly, but that does. Right. So it's a 19 total. That's a 7. Two, the 2 is here, that's a naked single 8, got a 4 and a 5 to go in the row, four, two. this is a 6-8 pair, that's a 5-7 pair, maybe regular Sudoku will get us home from this point, 
516ES, that 7 8 has been resolved. Look at that deadly pattern, resolved by the grid. Um, 3 or 9 there, but this is a 22 total, so there's no way that can be a 3. That is a 9. X is 3, 9 up there. This has become a 4. That's resolving everything in box 3. If I could type, it would be... 5, 8, and 9 to go in in box 2. We'll have to decide those in due course. This is 5 or 6. Now I could go through the rigmarole of working out 21 calculations, but I'd prefer to do this 22 here, I think. It's either, yeah, it can't be 9, 7, 6 because of the 7s up there. So it's 9, 8, 5. That does fix the whole of box 9. Uh, resolves that one as well and this and now we are just filling in the final final digits very clever puzzle worked very neatly it's impressive that this grid can exist with this rule set and no uh, given numbers and that's very enjoyable i hope you had a go at that because that's pretty approachable i think um well worth well worth a few minutes of your time thank you very much to timothy bexon for sending it in and thank you for watching, as always, on Cracking the Cryptic. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.